So yeah, here we go. So a bit about me. I'm a project manager at Airbus, but let me start from the moment where my career actually began. I was studying law, but as I graduated from the university in Russia, I realized that's not really my thing. But I took and learned a lot of the study for my life. When you know law, you know how to protect yourself on the right way, you know how to react in difficult situations, and you know how to help yourself. So maybe the world has lost a very good lawyer, but it was not my way. And right after, I decided to go for an interesting tech studies at the university in Hamburg. And during my whole university time, I had a lot of different student jobs because I had to pay for my university, my rent, etc. And it's funny, but none of my first student jobs were ever related to IT. But here I have learned also a lot from my life. For example, I have worked as a hostess for Philip Morris International. And at this job, I have learned how to communicate with different kinds of people. And also, I did various jobs as a makeup artist. And at this time, I was never ever thinking I will end up in IT or the Airbus, uh, airspace industry. And, but during my first year in the Tech University of Hamburg, I have found an interesting engineering job at Airbus. And then I realized how impressive global and international the tech industry is and how many chances it can give. As you see, the whole world is being digitalized at the moment. So as a young, normal girl, you will never think of IT as a possible career opportunity. So, at least not in my clique, because we grew up in a very traditional way. We were like typical girls, listening to Beyonce, going to concerts, dancing hip hop, and so on. But my opinion did change very quickly after my first serious tech job. And my first tech job I have found at Airbus at the Design Quality Engineering Department for a380 that time, and I had no clue how heavily male dominated this job were. So nowadays there are much more women working there, but 10 years ago it was a bit different. And it's funny, but I remember my first day there. I came with high heels, dressed up, makeup down, blonde bob hair, 20 years old, and the guys were looking at me like, what's going on here? And my boss was telling me, Anastasia, we are not looking for models here. And I was like, hey, don't worry. I know where I'm here. I know what I'm doing here. So we are in the same boat. Just let me be me. But no one took me seriously at the beginning. And I had to figure out how to change their mind and stay myself visually and personally. But after some time, I have realized, OK, Coming to the office too much early might not be the best idea to get accepted from my colleagues. But I didn't want to pretend to be someone else just to fit in. Surely I have faced some cliches, like my name was the blonde, and I was treated like Barbie. I didn't get much respect on the professional level from the guys. They invited me to meetings. <laughs> my main role was accessory and not engineer. And I remember one day my boss rushed in the office and telling me, we got a very important meeting, please join, I need you. And I was like, yeah, it's the moment, finally they see how much I'm working. But no, he told me just write some minutes on the desk while all the men were discussing very important topics. And I felt very embarrassed as they treated me more like a secretary and not like an engineer. So I started to think of finding a way to solve this kind of issues and to get accepted. So what did I do? What did I do? I started trying to fit in. I dressed the way they dressed. I tried to talk the way they did. And I changed my makeup, but still I was not taken seriously. Hmm. So then I have worked a lot. I have studied upon 
all relevant topics to the best possible level. And as a woman, you're always not taken seriously as a professional. I deeply understand those guys, but please understand me. I don't want to give up my personality, so I did my best to be perfectly prepared for every single meeting. And for my first digitalization job, I have stayed at home for three months and learned about 400 pages IT script by heart. I have also tried to understand each requirement of every stakeholder. And only with this attitude, I have managed to get respect on a professional level from all my colleagues. So this leads to my seven rules to set yourself up as a woman in a tech company. Actually, it's not only relevant for a tech company or for an IT job or whatever. It's also relevant for all jobs and all positions. So, my rule number one is focus. Always stay focused on your job. Set the right goals and always be prepared. There is a cliche that the lady in the man's work can work less. That's gibberish. You have to work even more. And you should be confident in what you do, and you need to be well prepared for all the topics you are dealing with. Set the right goals and the right schedule for every task and you have to work on, and make sure to set the right priorities. And rule number two is diversity. It means never judge a book by its cover, because you don't want other people to judge you by your cover. So try to have small talks and a good personal connection to all of your colleagues as you spend more time with them than with your family or your friends. This is not only relevant for IT job or tech job, it's relevant for all jobs and for all use cases in life. So I'm very lucky to work, to work in an international environment. There are a lot of different nationalities and cultures in my office. And dealing with different mindsets, cultures, and nationalities is daily business. So to be successful in this job, you have to be very open-minded. And in my office, for instance, I got an Italian colleague. He's always bringing some good Italian food to the office, like pizza and tiramisu and so on. And you know what? You cannot find such a good food in any restaurant because it's done by his wife with love. And rule number three is grow with your knowledge. So never try to jump over your position. Just do it step by step. I remember a friend of mine had a situation where she wanted to get hired by her boss because they were friends. And I was telling her, don't waste your time and energy for those things. And what do you think? Of course it didn't work. She just did huge. So the only thing that matters is how good you are in your job. So do it the best possible way. Use every chance to learn something new and develop yourself in all directions. And deliver quality. And believe me, you're going to work it out. And rule number four um, is courage. I remember my first meeting as I was the only girl there and that strange feeling being afraid of all those male executives and being too shy to say what I think and I stayed quiet. But there is no reason to be afraid. Those men are also afraid of you. So at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is the way you communicate with the team and the aim to create and build and reach the goals together. So it won't bring you forward if you don't speak up. And rule number five is stay real. It's one of my favorite rules. Because at the beginning, you don't know what to expect and everything seems to be different to your previous experience. But remember, we are all just human. 
it doesn't matter where you came from, you cannot change your appearance, nationality, or your past. But what you can do is accept yourself as you are and create your own future. Accepting yourself the way you are gives you confidence, not only at the workplace, but also in your private life as well. So be honest with yourself and share your experience with others. Self-expression creates space to build personal connection, connection with your colleagues. And rule number six is respect. Respect is a huge one because some people think their position allows them to treat others like they want. I believe every job is important. Boss, cleaning man, cleaning lady, secretary, engineer, manager, whatever. Without any of that, you would miss something. You know, I like to switch between different roles in order to understand the bigger picture as every role has its function that's integral to the company's overall success. Last month, I did an internship at our manufacturing and the guy showed me how they are working and teaching me really and tightening screws. And I just wanted to understand their requirements and get the global view of everything. When I saw how complicated and exhausting their job is, I'm really respecting these guys. So, rule number seven is love. The last but the most important rule is love your job. You won't be happy if you don't like what you're doing. And you know what? Many of my friends asking me if I'm not getting bored by a monotone IT job. But not for me. I'm enjoying something new and big together with my team. And this requires a lot of creative mind. And these are the seven steps to, to get respect in the man's IT world. What I have realized is that being knowledgeable and having the right mindset is the key to handle both of my wishes to stay girl and to be taken seriously by all those tough guys. So one can say that putting all my effort, my power into my performance would help me to handle all the obstacles I have. I learned a lot. I put a lot of effort into getting on board, understanding my team personally and professionally, and that worked well. So, Ah, I got also personal advice to you. Don't say focus only on your job. So please also take care about your private life, surround yourself with people that are accepting you the way you are and support you in all different life situations. It will fill your cup and give you a lot of energy. So thank you for your attention.